G'day, John for the hot end. The Creality CR10. Every man and his dog has got one. And there's so many reviews out there. Does it live up to the hype? Is it as good as my trusty FT5? Let's have a look. Right, Creality CR10. Is it just another Chinese printer? Is it as good as all the other reviewers say it is, or most of the other reviewers? Okay, we have a CR10S, which I'm looking at at the moment, currently printing. This was sent to us by Gearbest. Is it as good as everyone says? Well, short answer to that one is, um, yes it is. Uh, I've been printing with this now for a couple of weeks and I'd have to say that the quality of the prints that this turns out are as good as any printer I have used. Now that's a big statement because I have used a lot of printers including high-end like uh, like the Zortrax and uh, a few others. This thing prints as good as any one of them. You've probably already seen that uh, it's a big printer, 300 by 300 by 400. Uh, it runs on 24 volts. Um, it has, the new S version has two lead screws. The old one I believe only had one. It's had a few fixes regarding belts that were, that were uh, rubbing and a few other little issues. Uh, that's all been taken care of. It comes, as you would have seen, and I'm not going to go through it all again because you, you've seen it on all the other channels, almost fully assembled. Um, it takes like 10 minutes to put it together. It's just a matter of bolting on the Z uh, gantry uh, and hooking up the wires. Pfft, easy. Anyone could do it. Um, this one comes with a couple of extra features, um, which is a filament runout sensor. Gimmick, not a gimmick. Eh, we'll go into that. Uh, and a power fail feature, which means that if the power goes off, either intentionally or unintentionally, while you're in the middle of a print, you can restart the print and it will continue on from where it left off. I'll talk about that more in a minute as well. The CR10 comes with a filament runout sensor. Power fail. This to me is a biggie. This is huge. Not a lot of printers have it, uh, but the CR10 does and the Folgatech does not. Power fail, okay, you might think, oh, the power never goes off in my place. Um, what good is it to me? The benefit for me, and I've said it on many other uh, videos that we've done, because my bedroom is just across there, uh, I can't print overnight. Even if it's a quiet printer, as the CR10 really is, uh, it still disturbs your sleep patterns. Um, whether you're just thinking about it running or, or uh, worried about what might happen or if you're going to get a blockage or anything like that, or the sound itself, it makes it hard to sleep, for me anyway. What you can do in the clip that you'll see, you can turn the power off. Now that means not turning it off at the printer, it means turning the power off. And it assumes that it's a power failure. So at 11, 11.30 at night, I can hit the power failure and turn it off. The printer stops, I go to bed. Get up next morning, come out, flick the power back on, hit resume as you see in the clip and away it goes again. It's just brilliant. So instead of being limited to 12 to 14 hour prints like I have been, I can now print 24, 28 hour prints. Now the reason I'm limited to that is because I've noticed that it can only do it once. The power fail feature from what I've seen, now I may be wrong here, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you try and do it a second or third time, it doesn't work. It goes, it resets back to zero. Uh, but for that one time, it's definitely worth it. It's a great feature. Price. Uh, without discounts, you're looking at around about the 500 US for the Fogatech FT5. 
and for the CR10 you're looking at around about 550, 560 US. As you know, there are heaps and heaps of discounts out there that you can get. Um, I know if you use our affiliate link with Folgatech, you get, I think, 5%. Um, we have affiliate links, of course, with uh, Gearbest, Banggood, um, a lot of those other places, and uh, we can organize a code so that you can get this printer, the CR10S, for this price. Now, I haven't said the price because it changes quite a lot, so it's just being flashed up on the screen. Hopefully Anthony has done that for you. And you will see that value for money is really, really good. Does it replace my FT5 as my go-to printer? The jury's out. I will continue to use the CR10 for a few months. Let's see if it stays as good as it is out of the box. Let's see if the, uh, the quality is maintained over a period of time with heavy use. And let's see if the components stand up over a period of time. But as it's printing right now, I would have to say that it is a better deal than the Folgatech FT5. You will now be seeing uh, some photos of some prints that I've done on the CR10. I've used PLA and PETG, uh, both work uh, very, very well. well. Any monkey can print PLA, but, but uh, it works well. I'm printing on a PEI sheet uh, on the glass that uh, came with the printer. One thing I did notice and someone else picked up is that you need to check that glass because some of them um, aren't entirely flat. And for some reason, and I don't know how this happened, uh, the glass that came with mine was not flat on one side, but was flat on the other. So go figure. So at least I had one flat side, that was fine. I can't fault the prints. Um, no, I'm not gonna go and print a giant vase or anything like that uh, because it's boring. Uh, but I can tell you that the quality of the prints is, well, it's, it's perfect. Uh, I cannot fault the quality of these prints. Now, I'm just using Simplify 3D in the, um, the triple F code that is listed with Simplify 3D with maybe a, a tweak or two here and there, that just some things that I've learnt over the years. Quality, fantastic. Would I buy it? You bet I would. This, this thing is great value. It's a great printer. We'll see how it goes in the long term. As I said, I'll put a qualifier on that. But as far as I'm concerned, it's fantastic. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more prints off this machine in the future, uh, and I'll keep you posted on how it goes. We are in a situation now where uh, Anthony is using the YouTube and a few other things uh, as his sole income, so please subscribe. Please use our affiliate links. I know some of you have res reservations about affiliate links and bias reviews and all that sort of stuff, but as we've said many, many times, our reviews are unbiased, and if it's crap, we'll say so. So please use our links. Uh, we get pff, not much uh, out of those links, but anything is better than nothing. Don't forget you can also get in touch with us through uh, Twitter, through Facebook, uh, through YouTube, leave comments uh, if you like our stuff. If you don't like it, yeah, give us a thumbs down, but tell us why. Boo, not cool. Um, because then we can fix whatever it is you don't like. Okay, you might not like me. Well, that's fine, tell me. Just say Dilly Gaff next time you got a deal with dickheads, wankers and jerks. You can also help us out with uh, a Patreon if you're, if you're that way inclined. Uh, you can send us some money that way. Um, we really, really love doing this stuff and it's really not cheap to put these things together as we've said many times. So any help you can give us, we greatly appreciate. That's it for the CR10S. Okay, that's it. Um, until the next one, we'll cop you later.